Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 8th of 2023. Well, it is titled Moon meets Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, up above, we see our moon in a, th in a thin crescent phase. And you can see the brightly illuminated crescent down toward the lower left side. And the rest of the moon, not directly illuminated by sunlight, but we can still see it because of sunlight reflected off of Earth. So light travels to Earth, bounces off our atmosphere, and then is reflected to the moon. And some of that is reflected back to Earth. So it's not near as much light as it would get if it were directly illuminated, but it is enough to be able to see it in an image such as this, especially if you drastically overexpose the illuminated portion. So that's why we see no detail in the crescent portion. It's very over illuminated so that we can see the part that is illuminated by what is called Earth shine. Now down below this, we see the planet Jupiter. And you can see Jupiter down there, the next brightest object. And you see a lot of other objects around it. In fact, some in a straight line. And we can identify those for you. Let's go ahead and label this image. And there you can see those are four of those objects are the four large Galilean satellites of Jupiter. Uh, first observed by Galileo with his small telescope in the early 1600s. And from the on the left hand side, we see Callisto and then Ganymede, two of the larger moons and then Io there very close to Jupiter because it has a much smaller orbit. And then on the other side, we see Europa. Now Galileo was able to observe these and watch their changing positions and determine that they were orbiting Jupiter. And this was very important because at the time it was debated as to whether the Earth or the Sun was the center of the universe. What did everything orbit around? And here we had our very first evidence that not, not everything had to orbit one object, that not, not everything orbited just the Sun or not everything orbited just Earth, that other objects could be orbited as well, which also meant that the Earth could be moving and still keep our moon in orbit around it. So it was a very big piece of uh, evidence for the idea that the Earth was not at the center and instead that the sun was. Now again, we also see that the moon is labeled there. We can see the sunlit area of the moon, about 16% of it illuminated. And we see the dark area of the moon not visible. That would be what you'd normally would not be able to see. But here is again is illuminated by light reflected from Earth. So that's how we're able to see it in this case. So here we get to see what we call a conjunction of these two objects when they pass close together in the sky. Now this occurred in mid June, and it will actually happen again uh, tonight. So if you have a chance to be able to get out tonight and look up, you will also see the moon pass relatively close to Jupiter in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for August 8th of 2023. It was titled Moon Meets Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be triply colorful horizon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.